Hello guys, good evening. We're going to start now. So I'm going to check some of you. Here we have Andrea. Susie. Hello, Andreita. Hi, teacher. Hello. Cansadita, tired. So so. So so. Susie, hello. Pensé que tenías un cigarette. Hi. Ah, no. no okay. okay. How are you? Better than yesterday? Mejor que ayer? No. Oh, same. Similar. Uh, better. No, better. Better. Okay. You, Andreita? Better or same? Mejor? Same. Muy bueno. Same. Igual que ayer. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ay, Andreita. Okay. Teacher, I have headache. Really, I have headache. And what about, did you take medicine? Mm, only acetaminophen. Okay, okay, a pill, una pastilla, yeah? Yes. Do you usually have headache? No. No, it is not common for you. It, it's raro, es raro que me duele. It's uh, rare or weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is not common for you. Okay, what about you, Susie? Do you have headache? No, 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 not, not really. It's not common. Okay, so you can say rare and weird. Eso significa raro or strange, like strange things. Okay, you can use uh, it is rare. It is weird or strange. When something, it is not common. Uh, it can be a headache. It can be a, an, a, a surprising situation. So this, it is rare. It is weird or it is strange. Como Dr. Strange, como strange things. Okay. So that's it. But I, 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 I think girls have more headaches than men. I don't know, but some of my cousins, my, my or my friends, they have headache. One of my amigas tienen bastante, padece mucho de eso. So that's why I'm asking. Okay. So uh, I don't know. In the case of Diana, hello, Dianita. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Mm -hmm. How are you? Uh, more or less. More or less. Are do you have flu, right? Gripe? No. Yes. Yes, yes, I have. But you are better than yesterday, mejor que ayer. Mm, sí, lo que pasa es que ayer fue por la the rain. The rain, the because rain. of the rain. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Entonces, pero ahora amanecí con gripe porque ayer me cayeron unas pringas. Tiene súper tarde del trabajo. Wow. Que... And did you, take, <laughs> did you take medicine? And yes. Um, Así es. Yes, pills. Ajá, uh, Tylenol y um, clorfenamina, no sé cómo se dice. Okay, yes. Those are the, the proper names. Okay, I hope you get better. Or Loratadina, those are, are good. They are good as well. Okay, I hope you get better. Uh, tiene Thank que, you. Que te mejores. Okay, nice. Veronica, what about headaches? Uh, how often do you have headaches? Is it common? ¿Qué headache? Headache. Permítame. Headache. Mm, pain. No. Pain. No. No. No, it's not common. Okay. Uh, what about Caro? Hello, Carito. Hello, teacher. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo para que te arregles. Okay, no problem. Tú yes, arreglas la cámara you. y todo, ok, no problem. Yes. Merci, ok, merci, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, ok, hey. merci, merci. How often do you have headache? ¿Cuál es la pregunta, teacher, perdón? How often do you have headache? ¿Qué tan a menudo tener dolor de cabeza? Mm, seguido. 
Okay, very Cuando estoy often. estresada, más que todo. Okay, because of the stress. Okay, yes, that, that, that happens a lot. Okay, so here we have Marlon. Hello, my friend. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, how was your day? Better um, than yesterday. Um, yes, it was better than yesterday. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm happy to, to, to hear that. I know that Thanks. Mondays are difficult. I know. I know. So uh, I agree with you. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, that happens. Uh, Susie agrees with me as well. Right, Susie? So here we have Kevin as well. Hello, Kevin. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Uh, Kevin, how often do you have a headache? How often do you have headache? ¿Qué tan a menudo tenés dolor de cabeza? Um, frecuentemente. Frequently. 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 Okay, nice. Here we have also um Christian peso Christian Okay. So and uh, we're going to start and the topic uh, well today we're going to study simple present for temporary situations. Okay. This is the class, uh, well, number 13, right? No, 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 no. This is the class number 14, 14. So we have uh, this class and six more and we're going to finish. So no quedan seis clases aparte de eso, okay? So this is the class number 14. And we're going to study this phrase, ways to say I hate. Forma de decir, yo odio algo. When you don't like, definitely, you hate something. You can say, I hate, I hate, of course. But you can say also, I can't bear. I can't tolerate. I detest. It annoys me. I can't stand. Okay? Yo creo que ya conocemos esta, ¿verdad? I can't stand. ¿Verdad, Susi? ¿Te recuerdas, Andrea? Uh, the last course, uh, we studied this. Hicimos varios ejemplos con I can stand, que significa no soporto. I can bear, es como, como no lo tolero, igual que I can tolerate. I detest. It annoys me. Esto me molesta, eso me incomoda. Okay. So, uh, ways to say I hate. I can't bear, como oso. Eh? Igual como oso, bear, no beer. I can't bear. I can't tolerate. I detest. It annoys me. I can't stand. So I need you to use one of these phrases and tell me something that you don't like. Dime algo que tú no te gusta. For example, the noisy neighbors. Uh, vamos a poner un par de ejemplos acá. There are a lot of things that we detest. Honestly, it, uh, we can say, for example, we can say noisy neighbors. Uh, you can say... Um, loud music you can say for example loud music you can say uh trash on street um gossip you know what is gossip right gossip uh, chambre okay there are some people that well we, we have uh like a uh, what uh some colleagues some friends or even uh, relatives, family members, they are like gossip, and we have gossipers. Que son chambrosos, okay, so you can say, I can't bear nice neighbors, I can't tolerate, um, or smoking, or I can. Th there are some people that they don't like right? people smoking, so I detest people smoking. It's an example, okay. Uh, uh, you can say, for instance. It annoys me la uh, loud music, or I can't stand trash. Okay, so that's it. Or nasty words es como lenguaje inapropiado, lenguaje sucio. Cuando decimos malas palabras, por ejemplo, it's a nasty, nasty words, nasty vocabulary. So tell me, what is something that uh, you? You may say, I can't bear, I can't tolerate, I detest, it annoys me, I can't stand. So we're going to start with Veronica. Okay, do you have uh, something that you don't like? Sí, 
Ще... Ага. Но... Без гритос. А? Гритос, кому се не се? Шаут. Шаут. So, how would you say? I can't bear, I can't tolerate. You can say... Колкера деса си никъде си, Карл. Беро. Колкера това деса. I annoys me. No, it. It annoys me. It annoys me. It annoys me. Okay, shout. Okay, I'm sorry. I want to check something because Caro is having some problems. I don't know. She's having some problems. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. She has some problems. Connections. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Okay, what about Susie? Tell me. I can't bear no drink coffee. No drinking coffee. Wow. So you yeah. need coffee in the morning. Always, always. Oh, always. Okay. Yes, yes. Me too. Me too. Uh, so do I. I need coffee in the morning and the afternoon. Well, you have to wake up. Okay, right. Uh, at the all time. All time. Okay. Uh, in the evening, of course. Right. And what about now? You have coffee right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely. Good. Good for you. Perfect. Okay. And uh, what about Marlon? Tell me something that you hate by using this uh, Yes. Uh, like I said in the past, uh, past time. The, in, the, uh, in the last the time? Molo, in Molo. The uh, course. And the, the past course, I really detest when when a neighbor uh, is uh, with Less, listening the pets or, or what? Ah, the pets with the pets and it's uh, living the dirt. Ah, the dirt, the, the, the excrement, uh, the dirt. Yes, yes. And I that really, happens. I really de yes. detest it because you have to clean it. <laughs> That's why. Yes. And the, the, the smell, it is really smelly. Wow. No, come on. See, yes, yes, yes. Sometimes we want to <laughs> clean it with, with the face of the neighbor. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Con ganas. Okay. Yes. See. Yeah, that happens. I'm sorry, but that, that is so common here in, yes. in our country. And even when people uh, walk the toll uh, in other countries, they have like bugs. And they uh, take the excrement, the poop, into the bags. Limpia, o sea, levantan el excremento de los perritos. In some other, in some other countries, obviously, but yeah, not here. And, and, and they are uh, responsible. They are responsible, of course. It's education. Okay. Yeah, but yes. Do it. I, okay. I have those ones. <laughs> wow. These are. Wow, Diego. So when you walk the dog, <laughs> you have it with you. That. Yes, I have it all the time to to pick up the poop. Okay, congratulations, man. That's the attitude. Marlon yes, wants yeah. neighbors Thank like you. <laughs> yes. Know, así quiere, Marlon. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, Diego. Tell me something that you hate or you can't bear or you can tolerate. Okay, I can stand the heat. Ah, okay. It make me make me angry. Okay, especially <laughs> at noon or in the afternoon or at night or every time. Every time. Yes. Do you I use? Okay. Uh, do you do you do you have fun for the night? Yes. Yeah. Do, do, do All you... night. <laughs> wow. Yes. That's it. Yeah. If I don't, I I don't have a fun. I can sleep. You can sleep. Yeah. Me too. No. So do I. So do I. I I need it. Even right now. I'm using it. <laughs> okay, so okay, I understand that. Thank you, Diego. Uh, Andrea. Okay. Uh, thanks, Andrea. And then we're having Christian. I can't tolerate uh, the traffic. Traffic, of course. Nobody likes it. Nobody. Nadie le gusta. Okay, thanks. Traffic. Bueno, the vendors, the, the sales, well, La vendedora, the, the people who are selling things, yeah, maybe they, they like it. The candies or those, but obviously we don't. Okay, uh, thank you, Andrea. Uh, what about Alex? Uh, Christian, I'm sorry, and then Diana. Christian, are you ready? I need you to use one of these phrases and say something that you hate. 
These are some examples. Uh, I can tolerate the music of the uh, Bug Bunny. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I, I think uh, nobody, nobody well, I, well, at least, yes, maybe some of you like it. Well, in my case, uh, I don't. Maybe Marlon likes it or maybe Diego likes it. I don't know. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> well, they say what? no. Definitely not. Okay. So, um, uh, Christian says, uh, you can send Judith test. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Carmen. Hello, Carmen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good. We are talking about something uh, or things that we hate. And then Diana. Okay. Um, I, can, I can tolerate uh, that the driver in front is very slow. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, <laughs> specifically, when you are on a highway. And, <laughs> okay, we have highway. There's no highway to have. Okay, and we have highways and we have like uh, three spaces. And the third one from to the left, they are driving too slow. I really hate that. I, I can't bear. Yo realmente, bueno, a mí realmente sí odio eso cuando in the third uh, space, they are driving too slow. Wow. Come on. Okay, so that's it. Thanks. Uh, Diana, we're going with Diana and then Mercy. I detest uh, hypocritical. No sé cómo se dice. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Ah, hypocritical. Hypocrite. Okay. Uh, people. Hypocrite. Yes, and that's very common. A lot. They are smiling. They are listening to you and they speak. Okay. When you are not there. Wow. Yeah. That, that's disgusting. Okay. We're going with Mercy and then Kevin. Okay, Mercy. I can tolerate the freeze, freeze, freezing weather. The really? Oh, sí. Freezing the... weather. Freezing weather. Está super helado. Wow. I sí, love it. Helado. I love it. <laughs> a mí me encanta. But... Hey, por algo viven los planes. <laughs> yes, but it is difficult when you have to take a shower in the morning. Mm. Ah, yeah. quizás no tanto así es bien complicado es que como soy asmática puede ser wow, que a veces wow. me yeah, you, you, you y, can, y a veces no you can have problems with the uh, with mm -hmm. breathing when breathing okay with your lungs con los pulmones yes of course I understand that definitely Mercy you can smoke right Mercy no smoking right no no teacher okay <laughs> yeah, perdón okay smoking in the boys room Diana and then Susi. Ya participé. Susi, también. También. Kevin, me falta. Y... El amor, como lo anda, teacher. Ya ves, de la muerte en el aire. Love is in the air. Kevin, and we're going with Carla. Okay. I really hate when my neighbor listens loud music. Listens loud, yes, loud, loud music. music, especially Christian's neighbors. <laughs> well, sometimes, <laughs> or even when they have like uh, uh, spiritual ceremonies or, or yes, they, they have like cultos, all those things. And sometimes they, they have high volume, really high volume. And you are, okay, the, 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 you, are, uh, you are not comfortable. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, um, what about Carla and then Caro? I can't stand the heat. Ah, the heat, yes, okay. The heat. Similar to Diego, yes, uh, I know, it is not easy. Thank you, Caro, then Edgar. I detect uh, people are smoking. Okay, people smoking, that, uh, that is common as well. Okay, Edgar and then Alex. Uh, sería, it's, it, it annoys me and uh, do something and uh, it doesn't work out for me. Okay, yes, I know when uh, something doesn't uh, work out. Yeah, I know. Uh, Alex and then Claudia. I did it dry when it's raining. 
Ah, drive when it's ah, but you you drive a motorcycle, right? Yes. You ride a motorcycle. Okay. Of course. You are, it, it is not easy, it is difficult. Okay, and Claudia. I I detest the light. Hmm? The light? The light. La luz. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Mentira. Ah, lies, lies. Uh -huh. De hecho, es el primer disco de Guns N' Roses. Es bueno ese disco. Lies. Sí, sí. Yes. Uh, so, lies. Yes, you. So, you never tell a lie. Nunca dice mentira, ¿verdad, Claudia? You are very honest. Very sincere, like yes. me. Como no yo. me gusta mentir. Ok. No, me gusta mentir. Ok, you don't like. So, to tell lies, okay? Thank you. So these are the ways to say I hate. So when you want to express an opinion about something that you don't like, you, you can use one of these uh, phrases and it is like, uh, uh, it, it is better to have different forms to say it, okay? Por ejemplo, si todos están diciendo lo mismo, I hate, Susie says I hate, Diana says I hate, I hate, and it is your turn to express You can say, I can tolerate, I, I detest, I can stand, ¿verdad? Porque no todos van a decir eso mismo. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, uh, the topic uh, is always present continuous. Uh, bueno, vamos a continuar. We're going to continue with this. Vamos a enfocarnos en esta parte, que es este, uh, the questions, okay? Entonces, the questions are like this. Uh, yesterday, we have worksheets. Ya vamos a dar un repaso a eso. And the verb be, uh, goes at the beginning, and then the pronoun and the verb with ing, ¿verdad? Entonces, are you coming? Is she coming? Are they coming? Okay. And for WH question, para estas preguntas, con WH, lo único que vamos a hacer, the only thing that we're going to do is to add, vamos a agregar what, when, where, who. Si se dan cuenta, um, si le quitamos esto, solo le diría, is he doing tonight? ¿Ve? Are you coming? Is she heading to? Ok. Así que solo le agregamos la palabra con WH. What, where, when, how. So that's it. Ok. Um, sorry. Here. Ok. So here we have, for example, eh, necesito que me lean un par de, de, de estas preguntas. Ok. Eh, Verónica, you start and then Susie. Mm -hmm. What is he doing tonight? Doing tonight. Okay, Susie, then Diana. When are you coming? Okay, Diana, and then Kevin. Where is she heading to? Heading to. Heading to. Heading significa dirigirse a. No, no cabeceando, porque head es cabeceando. No, uh, head es dirigirse a. Heading to. Okay, um, who's next? Kev, uh, Kevin, and then Diego. Who is leaving today? Okay, Diego, then Edgar. How are we spending ex Xmas? Mm -hmm. Christmas. Xmas or Sorry. Christmas. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, Christmas. And, ni había notado que quiere decir eso. Okay, nice. Edgar, we're going with Edgar, and then we're having Christian. Uh, why is he see, seeing him tomorrow? Uh -huh. And Christian, with whom? With whom is she meeting? Okay, okay. Voy a explicar esto de whom, así rápidamente. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whom es igual que who. Solo que cuando utilizamos whom, decimos to whom. Aquí. For whom the bell tolls. Eso iba a decir, eso iba a decir. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. Uh -huh. For. I knew it. Yes. That, that's one of my favorite uh, Metallica albums. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, so uh, um, to whom, with whom, for whom, pero significa, ¿verdad? A quién, con quién, para quién, okay? Pero whom es igual que who, quién. Solo que siempre va dirigido a algo, ¿verdad? To whom. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, voy a visitar, I'm going to visit a friend. Y Marlon says, ah, to whom, a quién. And uh, Christian puede decir, ah, I'm going to visit my ex-girlfriend. So that, that's it. Entonces preguntamos a quién en específico. Ok. To whom, with whom, for whom. Pero whom significa lo mismo. Ok. O sea, quién. Ok. Now that we have this. 
And we're going to continue. Okay, do you think natural medicine is effective? Have you tried? Lo alguna vez has probado? Have you tried? I don't know. Well, in, in my case, I have. Yes, in my case, yes, I have experience. But I want to listen to some of you. So we're going to start with Carmen. If, if you are ready, Carmen. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, Carmen. Uh, the question, do you think natural medicine yes, yes, is yes. effective? <laughs> yes, I think there is a lot of effective natural medicine, but that is not why I stopped consulting the doctor and taking traditional medicine when, when necessary. Okay, yes. And not all the doctors recommend that. Okay, yeah, that, that's something that happened. Thank you, Carmen. Very, uh, a very specific point, thanks. Okay, Andreita, what about you? Are you ready? And then we're having, after Andrea, we're going to have um, Claudia. Okay, of course, the natural medicine is effective. However, we must know what is for and who to consume. On the other hand, for natural medicine to be effective, we must be constant when consume it. Also, the process of healing of natural medicine is more slow, but is less harmful to the body. Okay. body. Yes. It heals, eso cura, but it is slower. Es más, eh, como es eh, adjetivo corto, slower es, yes, es más lento. It is not like the medicine, the pills, las pastillas, uh, as we were talking at the beginning, yeah, it is different, but it is natural. Okay, thank you, Andre. Very nice opinion. Okay, Claudia, and after Claudia, we're having um, Marlon. Okay, yes, but always recommend be a specialist doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, better, better to go to a specialist, a person who knows, una persona que sabe. Yes. Okay, so we're having uh, Marlon, right? And after Marlon, we're having Carla. Okay, uh, yes, teacher, I think natural medicine is effective. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think uh, I think it is because uh, of the same word say, it's natural. Yep. And, it's, and, and it is not equal like, um, um, como, como es, uh, algo, algo no natural, teacher, como le podríamos llamar algo? Yes, uh, that is something that is, with chemicals, uh, we Chemical. have, yeah, we have with chemicals, it is non natural, non natural. Okay. Yes, and, and I think it's a, a great option, the natural medicine. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Like some plants uh, for for healing the soul trop, like gripe, right? Soul trop. Okay. Uh, soul trop, a dolor de garganta. Yes. Uh, uh, or, or, or healing uh, some, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice heridas, teacher? Ah, uh, podemos decir wound, así, ¿verdad? Wound, wound. Okay. Son heridas, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's my opinion, teacher. Thank you. About the natural medicine. Yes. Okay, uh, thanks for saying heal, and we have cure, ¿verdad? Que es uh, curar, heal, es sanar, okay? So heal here it, it's similar okay so as you, as marlon says especially for sometimes with for wounds for algunas heridas okay yeah we need we, we have used different kinds of plants well at least in my case okay thank you marlon and uh, okay uh, who's next who's next carla right and then diana mm -hmm. carla yes if 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 it is healthier and those and those not harm all bodies even if it is not 
at Fat and Shamil Medicine. Okay, thank you, Carla. I remember something that you said, uh, similar. Um, side effects, some efectos secundarios. When you use natural medicine, we, you don't have side effects. On the contrary, if we have a lot of pills, if we take pills and a lot of chemicals, yeah, you can have different side effects in your body. Of course it is. Okay, Diego, your turn. And then we continue. Okay, uh, in order to talk about natural medicine, I have to say that I believe natural medicine can help to get better symptoms of some disease. But with this, the causes are not being treated. And now when the cause of uh, disease is the best of uh, start fighting it with the correct type of medicine. As far as I know, there aren't records about how natural medicine may heal the causes of, of a disease. However, I believe that natural medicine can help us to get better, for instance, when we have a flu or that kind of common virus. So those are the reasons why I think conventional medicine is the best for everybody, because this one is based on clinical exams that can be prescribed. Okay, good example. When we have some exams and we have the results of those exams, the doctors can prescribe and can have a diagnostic, right? And say, okay, you do have to take this, uh, this kind of medicine because you're having a treatment. But in, there are some uh, like uh, illnesses or, or diseases, illness is enfermedad, disease, ¿verdad? similar, son enfermedades, that, you, uh, that they can be treated with natural medicine, that it is very common, but there are some others, you cannot self-diagnose uh, yourself, no puedes, pues, diagnosticarse, tampoco, it is not so, so recommendable. Diana, um, me falta su, ¿verdad, Diana? Sí. Okay, please. Okay. I agree, because it is kit, no sé cómo se dice, quite. Quite. Mm -hmm. Quite effective for health problems that are not so complicated. Okay, it is quite effective. Okay, good word. It's muy efectivo. Yeah, and that happens. And if, you, well, if you notice, there are some grandmas that they know <laughs> about. <laughs> uh, yeah, the <laughs> tea, you have different kind <laughs> of tea. And uh, well, you, you can get better, puedes mejorar, okay? Improve, es similar a get better, mejorar. Improve, get better, and you, of course, you. Uh, there are some tips that, that they know, uh, some kind of natural medicine, but um, even we need a doctor's review and diagnostic, okay? Thanks, but the yeah, natural medicine, it is not bad but it is, it is better to know how to use it and how to apply it and why not learn about it because the chemicals and the pills are based on natural plants. So that's it, okay? Thanks for all your opinions. We're going to continue later with this uh, uh, question. So we're going to complete this, uh, this, the same exercise. Este ejercicio lo hicimos ayer, pero lo vamos a, vamos a utilizar también otro tipo de palabras, okay? But first, I'm going to check the attendance list. Reviso la lista de asistencia. So please say hello if you are there. Uh, Ana Mercedes. Present. Thank you, Andrea. I'm here. Wonderful. Carmen. Present. Perfect. Um, Claudia. Present. Nice. Carito. Present. Good. Christian. Present. Perfect. Uh, Alex. Present. Nice. Diana. Present. Good. Diego. Present. Okay. Thank you. Dorita, are you there, Dorita? Edgar, hello. I'm here. Hello, Helen. Thank you. Not Helen. Uh, Carla. Present. Good. Uh, Kevin. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marlon. Present. Thanks a lot, Susie. Present. And Veronica, thank you. Present. 
Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we're having uh, this. And uh, please, uh, I will need your help. Mercy, you start. And no, 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 Andrea start and then Mercy. Okay, aquí vamos a utilizar el verb be. Todo esto va a ser con verb be. O sea, am, is, are. Okay, cualquiera de esos. Y acá van a ir estos verbos, obviamente sin el su, pero con el ing, o sea, working, having, doing. Okay, that's the key. Okay, uh, we start with Andrea. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. Is Richard working in the garden? Okay, is Richard working in the garden? Okay, thank you. And uh, Mercy and then Susie. Number four. Mm -hmm. Are you cleaning the ch kitchen? Uh -huh. Chicken, you are huh? zero. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, yes, are you kitchen cleaning the kitchen? Tom. Thank you, Susie, and then we go with Edgar. Number three, mm -hmm. are the children doing their home, their yes. homework? Their home, yes, are the children, perfect. Okay, we're going to, uh, with whom? Edgar, right? Yes. And, and then Carmen. Mm -hmm. Number two. Okay, go. Is, is, she, is she having a cup of tea? Thank you. Okay, uh, Carmen, and then we're going with Veronica. Okay. Is she having a cup of tea? Okay, aunque se me la acaban de decir, Carmen. Ah, uh, excuse me. Te ganaron. Uh, okay. Is the cat sleeping in the basket? Perfect, okay. Now we go with, um, who else? Okay, we're having Marlon. And then Sus, uh, no, and then Kevin. Okay, and number six. Mm -hmm. Are Cliff and Oliver's uh, meeting friends? Okay, thanks. Very good. Okay, good. Uh, Kevin, right? And then we're having um, Alex. Okay. Is your mother making sandwiches? Perfect. Good. Alex, and then we're having. Um, Diego. Is the beer drinking water? Okay, aquí sería, como es plural, sería are the beers, okay? Are the, are the beers and drinking water, okay. And Diego and then Christian. Okay, number 10, are mm -hmm. they eating pizza? Perfect, and Christian. Uh, is Carmen... We are waiting in a pull pullover. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Bye. Ahora, aquí sería R. I'm sorry. Solo quiero explicarle, quiero explicarles algo bien práctico. Tenemos R. Y tenemos acá que es eating. So, in this case, tenemos are they eating pizza? Estamos preguntando, ¿están comiendo pizza? Pero podemos agregarle where. Ok. Y la pregunta sería, where are they eating pizza? O sea, son preguntas abiertas. Ok. Ya no sería, están comiendo pizza, sino que, ¿dónde están comiendo pizza? Ok. Um, for example, uh, tenemos acá. Is. Ok. Tenemos is. Richard. Um, Working. So let me explain with two. Okay. We have this, right? Um, is Richard working in the garden? Está trabajando Richard en, en, en el jardín. Eso es lo que se está preguntando ahí, right? Pero para hacerla abierta, podemos agregarla acá. Why? Okay. Why? Por qué? Right? Entonces ya. Um, ya tenemos una idea de que is working Richard in, in the garden significa que si está pues trabajando pero sí o no pero si le preguntamos why um, eh, estamos preguntando por qué ok um, ok Carmen mm, eh, tú me preguntas qué es pullover Pullover, 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 pullover. 
Okay, is Carmen wearing a pullover? It's like a sweater, similar to a sweater, right? It's a, 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 a cloth, ¿verdad? Es como ropa, okay? Aquí tenemos. So, uh, thanks for, for, for participating in here. Now, we're having this one. Ahora tenemos esto, que ya es parte de... And we have part of this. So, tenemos how to use present continuous WH question, como les acabo de explicar. WH question ask for specific information. Aquí va la estructura. Podemos utilizar cualquiera de esas. El verbo be, el sujeto, el verbo ing y el complemento. Tenemos what, when, where, why, which, who, how. Here we have examples. So, um, I need uh, Claudia, help me with example number one. Why, and after Claudia, we're having um, Carla with number two. Why is he meeting the new people today? Mm -hmm. Y sería because, y ahí da la razón, porque es, ajá, ¿verdad? Porque se va a reunir con la, con el nuevo personal, con nuevas personas ahora. ¿Por qué? Ok, Carla, number two, and then we have Andrea with number three. When is the new office? Launching. Launching. Ok, ¿cuándo es el lanzamiento de la nueva oficina? Ok. It is launching on, se va a lanzar, ¿verdad? Y así. Ok, entonces si se dan cuenta va why, when, cualquiera de esas, el verb be, y de ahí el sujeto y el verbo con ing. Ok, Andrea, number three, right? Where? Where is your, where is your boss having the annual meeting? The annual meeting. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde va a tener, verdad, la reunión anual? Tu jefe. Ok, in, y aquí se dice. Ok, now we're having fill in the blanks. Fill the blanks. Using the words in the parentheses. Igual, es similar. And for this, um, we're having Christian is going to help me and Diana. Ok, Christian. Here we have, what company are you working for? We have two, three, four, or five. Which one? Sería number two. Two. Yeah. How? How is, is he? Yes. Sí, ahí llevaría el ING, ¿verdad? Yes. Dividing? The group. Perfect. Dividing the group. Perfect, Christian. Thank you. Okay, now we go with Diana. And after Diana, we're having Veronica. Number three. Mm -hmm. When is she handing the checks? checks. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Number four. Mm -hmm. Which factory are your boss visiting this okay. month? Yes, which factory mm -hmm. is your boss vis visiting this month? Perfect. Okay, and we're having number five, and Susie is going to help me with number five. Why? Okay. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? Okay, why? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Perfect. Uh, I think uh, we don't have we don't have problems with this. Okay, it is uh, quite easy. And so here we have utilizando este verbo han. Le voy a, le voy a dar dos dos palabras. Okay, we have a uh, hound in significa presentar. Okay, hand in is when you present, for example, you can hand in a report. Ustedes pueden presentar un report. Okay. So that's uh, like the, the, the big difference that we have with hand in the end. We have hound out, okay? Uh, that is mainly for, okay? It's uh, como aportar, como repartir, okay? Hand in, presentar, hand out, repartir. De hecho, algunas, algunos folletos les pueden decir hand out. Si se le pueden llevar algunos folletos, una fotocopia, they can say hand out. So, that's a normal form too, to say uh, like documents, some documents and hand in, presentar. Porque aquí le dice, okay? Mm -hmm. 
When is uh, she handing the, the checks? Cuando va a presentar los checks? So that's it. Okay. And we continue with this. Now you know how to make questions. Ahora ya saben cómo hacer preguntas con what, when, where, why, which, who, how. And we're going to do some of them. Vamos a hacer algunas de esas. And remember, here we have some verbs. Tenemos algunos verbos. So, in this activity, um, think of some future events of your classmates. Piensen en eventos futuros de sus compañeros. Write five questions, ask your classmates about those events, and take notes. Y vamos a tomar notes. One example. When, when are you having... When are you having vacations? Esa puede ser una pregunta, okay? When are you having vacations? Now, we can do another, for example, um, where are you, where are you working next year? Donde vas a trabajar el otro año? When are you working next year? So you can do different questions, okay? Pueden hacer diferentes preguntas con el ING. Where are you having vacations? Where, where are you working next year? Okay. When are you having your birthday? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo vas a tener tu cumpleaños? Principalmente, when are you having your party? Okay. And that's it. So I need to, to, to create five questions. Necesito que, que hagan un cinco preguntas y van a anotar la respuesta de sus compañeros. Okay. For this, we're having these examples. Le voy a poner estos ejemplos, okay? It is not necessary, no es necesario que hagan el cuadro, okay? Pero si necesito, pues, cinco, I need five questions. Uh, if you want, you can take this one. Pueden tomar de, de ejemplo estas, of course. When are you having your vacations? Where are you working? Where are you having lunch, okay? Donde, where are you having lunch tomorrow? Okay. Um, and yes, um, when are you visiting your parents? Cuando vas a visitar a tu papá? When are you visiting your parents? And when are you having a meeting? Cuando vas a tener una reunión? When are you having a meeting? If you notice having, it's a common verb. Pueden utilizarlo para bastantes cosas, having, okay? So that's it. Si ya copiaron eso, lo voy a borrar y le voy a presentar a mucho present de the previous uh, slide. So you can have like a different idea. Okay. Here. Here are some examples. Okay. Otro ejemplo. Mm -hmm. When are you presenting reports to your boss? Cuando vas a presentar algún reporte a tu jefe? Okay. When are you having a party in your workplace? Cuando van a tener fiesta ahí en su trabajo? I don't know. Maybe there are some uh, enterprises that they, they celebrate. Okay, I'm going to form the couples. Voy a pues, um, formar los, los equipos. And then you tell. Okay. I'm going to give you one more minute. About a minute más.
teacher. Y nos podría dar un ejemplo de la respuesta. Por ejemplo, si hablamos de la tercera persona, de él o ella. Ok. Ah, vaya. Como estas son preguntas directas, ok. Eh, no necesariamente la tiene que ser en tercera persona. Por ejemplo. Uh, por ejemplo, when, cuando. When is the new uh, office launching? It is launching on, o siempre pueden ponerle on, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo. Eh, les puse de... Acá. Mm. When is she handing the checks? Uh, she is handing the checks uh, next Wednesday on Friday. Cualquiera de esas. Ahora. En este yo les había puesto. When are you having? ¿Qué les había puesto? When are you having? Meeting, for example. Y ustedes pueden escribir simplemente tomorrow. ¿Verdad? Pueden decir una, una respuesta larga. Por ejemplo, I am having. Uh, you can say, all right, let's put it this. Where are you having a mirror? That's what I'm doing. Sorry. And the answer, the answer, the answer could be, I'm having. O simplemente next week. Corta. Ya. Puede ser de las dos maneras. Ok. I'm having a meeting next week. O puede ser next week. Eh, recuerden que en el inglés se enseña como a, a contestar de una manera larga, pero eh, ya en la vida real se contesta rápido, ¿verdad? No, no es que tanto que, pero mejor le pregunto. Uh, when are you having a party? Mm -hmm. Pueden decir on December. In December, I'm sorry, in December. In November, okay. So that's it. Respuesta corta, okay. Everything okay, Susie? Yep. Thank perfect. you. Perfect. Perfect. It's a pleasure. Okay. I'm going to send you in Teams. Okay, here you go. So, si te va a tocar conmigo. No. Ok. Eh, <risa> solo que en este caso yo no me he preparado preguntas para usted, pero bueno. Why Dale. are you studying English? <risa> <risa> um, I'm studying English because um, I want to work in a different place. Work, a different place. Work in a different place, yes. Okay. Place. When are you visiting uh, at your parents? Next weekend. Teacher, are you married? No. 
No. No, do I look like? Me parezco como que si estoy casado. Sí. Qué bueno. <laughs> no, <laughs> but parece, I'm, pero no. <laughs> no, I'm not married. I'm single. Okay. Uh, number three, with whom are you living? Mm -hmm. um, I'm living with my brothers. Okay. When are you having meetings with your boss? Ah, on Friday. On Friday? Yes, I'm having meetings on Friday. Okay, ese día toca la regañada. I'm sorry for me. <laughs> what are you doing at Christmas? I'm having... I'm having different parties in my in my friend's house. Bárbaro. <laughs> okay. Esas son mis preguntas. Okay, I start. Uh, when are you having your next vacations? Mm. Solo sería 15 de septiembre. September. Próxima. September. Yep. September the 5th. Okay. When are you going to the cinema? When? When? At in my birthday. In your birthday. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, when are you having. No. When are you going to have Chinese food? Repítame la pregunta, please. When are you going to eat Chinese food? No entiendo, teacher. ¿Cuándo vas? ¿Cuándo vas a comer? When are you going? Comida rápida. Chinese. Ah, Chinese. Um, ¿Cuándo? Once a month. Once a month. When are you visiting your parents? Todos los días, quizás. Every day. Sí, cerca. Okay, <laughs> yes. well, that, that's fine. And the last one, when are you going to a party? Cuando hay una fiesta. When is the birthday of my friends? When, ah, oh, well, at your friend's birthday. Friend's birthday. Okay. Bien, te voy a explicar algo. Mm. Porque hiciste esta, esta, esta pregunta. Eh, me hiciste which who, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo era? Which who. ¿Puedes ver? Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. Dijiste which who, ¿verdad? Which who. ¿Qué? Which whom. Ajá, pero which whom. Ajá, which whom, ¿qué? Are you living? Whom are you, are you living? Bien. Mm -hmm. yeah. Si la puedes así. La puedes hacer así, pero te recomiendo hacer esto, mira. Yo sé que no tiene mucho sentido, pero mm. esta, esta es la manera bien común, mira. Como que el with de acá mm -hmm. lo pasas al final. Yo te sugiero que okay. hagas la pregunta como en tu mente, with who, pero pasa el with al final. Vamos a hacer otro ejemplo. Ok. Ah. Vamos, a, vamos a hacerla así, mira, como esta. Lo que vamos a poner with who, porque después vamos a mover el with, no porque iría whom, así como tú le hiciste, estaba bien. Ok. Está aceptable, pero va. With who are you? ¿Con quién vas a tener almuerzo? Entonces, ven acá. Ah, no lo pongo. Who are you having lunch with? ¿Ya, ¿ya caíste? Sí. Ajá, el with lo pasamos acá. Ahora sé tú una. ¿Con quién? Vamos a ver con quién qué. Ok. Uh, who are you drinking coffee? Uh -huh. 3F. Ajá, entonces sería el with lo quitamos, ¿verdad? Yep. 
Ay, sí, es cierto. Who are you drinking coffee with? Y verdad que se escucha bien diferente, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí. Pero la clave, eso sí, es imaginártela primero así y después, después ya te vas a acostumbrar. Uh -huh. ¿Y por qué no puso usted este ejemplo? O sea, ¿qué, ah. ¿qué se va a hacer la diferencia? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La diferencia es porque normalmente with, for whom, with whom, no es para preguntas. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. I am, por ejemplo, ¿eh? o... Oh. I'm having, um, I'm having lunch with whom I hire. Con quién o a quién yo contraté, ¿ok? Entonces es un ejemplo, así, ajá, así. Pero para que cuando vean whom, ustedes ya sepan qué significa. Uh -huh. ya, ya, ese es el punto, ¿ok? okay? Pero sí, me voy a dedicar un, un momento después para explicarles eso del who y el quit, ¿oíste? Porque sí confunde. Ok. okay. Va. Pero bien, Chévere. Susi. Va, chévere, ya ves, hoy ya sos vos, ya agarraste vida, sus <risa> Sí, es que ayer estabas. Un poquito apagada. Low battery. Ok. Pero a medida que estés así. Ok, Diana, ¿qué estás haciendo, Dianita? Bueno, ok, mejor no pregunto. Ok, ok, Diana. Ok, tell me the question and the answer. Dime la pregunta y la respuesta. Uh -huh. um, the question uh, is, where are you living currently? Uh -huh. uh, the, ans the answer in Sonsonate. Ok, thank you. What about Veronica and then Carmen? Thanks, Diana. When are... When are you do, going to the beach? The next month. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Carmen, then Andrea. Hey, la mía también era where are you visiting the beach? Okay. Okay, going. Is, and the answer? Uh, in February. Yeah, in February. Come on. <laughs> no, but it's a pelaron. Okay, thank you. Andrea, then Mercy. Uh, when are you having birthday party? Mm -hmm. uh, in January 22, the next year. Then vamos a esperar. Thanks. Merci, then Caro. Okay. When are you having the next training? Mm -hmm. The next training is October 28. Okay. Um, training. 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 Mm -hmm. hey. Perfect. Caro, then Diego. And the question, where are you having meetings? The answer, I have meetings the last Monday. Okay, I'm having meetings the last Monday, okay. Diego, then Susi. Okay, uh, why are people wearing raincoats? Mm -hmm. Because it's raining a lot. Okay, perfect. Uh, Susi and Carla. The question, why? Why are you studying English? Uh, the answer is because I want to work at a different place. Thank you, Carla and Christian. Um, when are you having vacation? Mm -hmm. In March. In March, okay. Christian and Alex. Where are you working your sister? Mm -hmm. uh, your sister is working in bakery. Okay. When is uh, your sister working or where? Mm -hmm. Where is? Thank you. Alex and then Claudia. Uh, what music are you listening to? She listen salsa. She's listening to salsa. Okay. Thank you. Claudia then Edgar. When will you? Having your next vacation in mm -hmm. December. Okay, in December. When are you having your next vacation in December? Okay, Edgar and Marlon. Uh, when are you traveling to Sonsonate? Uh, maybe in one year. In, in one year, okay. Marlon <laughs> and Kevin. Uh, when are you having vacations? Uh, on September 15th. Okay. On September 15th, similar to my friend. Okay, Kevin and Diana. Okay, question. What is your favorite part of your work day? 
the answer when I go to my house. Ok, aunque la pregunta tiene que ser con ING. Y está preguntando when is your favorite. Ok. Entonces, oh, el, ajá. I, have, okay. Okay. I have other question. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow in your job? Perfect. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. The answer. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Perfect, Kevin. Diana. Ya estuvo. Fue la primera. Ya o estuvo. segunda, no sé. Ok, Diana. Sí. Va, pues te voy a creer. Ok. No está de malo repetir. De verdad, ¿verdad? Dianita, la voy a poner de castigo. <risa> no, ¿Qué? en serio. Le, se la re voy a repetir, vaya. Le pregunté, where are you living currently? Eh, he said in Sonsonate. In Sonsonate. Ok, thanks, Diana. Thank you. Mercy, are you ready? Do you think natural medicine is effective? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, and after Mercy, we're having Carito. Go ahead. Okay. Natural medicine is effective, even less harmful to health. While the only difference that their ratio is slower. Okay, yeah, with the only... In the pharmacy, we have natural medicine that is very effective. Mm -hmm. It's effective, mm -hmm. yes, it yes, is. Yes, but in extreme cases, it is necessary to build a formula-based medicine. Excellent and concrete opinion, Mercy. It okay. depends on the doses and depends on how well you feel, okay? So you need another type of medicine, of course. Thanks, Mercy. And uh, we're going with Carito and then Christian. Okay, in, in my opinion, it's not. Is the modern modern medicine is very and is certified to be a doctor. Okay, uh, good point. It's certified. Mm -hmm. It's a certificate. It's certified because of scientists, because of draw source, because of okay scientists, doctors. So mm -hmm. yes, uh, they have like a. a a backup. Okay, tiene como respaldo. Mm -hmm. Okay, good point. Okay, Christian, and then Alex. Uh, natural medicine is sometimes effective uh, for mild pain, but not uh, for serious illnesses. Mm -hmm. but not for serious illnesses. Okay, excellent point. And now Alex, and after Alex, we're having um, Edgar. In my opinion, it's better, better natural medicine because chemicals are no good for our health. Yes, thanks, Alex. And that's one negative uh, or uh, side effect. To consuming too much uh, chemicals uh, that is going to affect any part of your body, okay? Specifically, uh, specifically if you consume or if you uh take a lot of uh that type of medicine okay we're going with edgar right yes and then kevin uh, i think so uh, because our ancestors used uh, that medicine and then they create created the medicine of today excellent our ancestors have a lot of knowledge about medicine in natural medicine they were very healthy, eran muy saludables, of course. And mm -hmm. nowadays, the medicine that we, the modern medicine is based on the previous one. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, and uh, Susie and Veronica. Okay, in my opinion, I say yes, because we can obtain effective medicine, thorough, natural root and plants. They are less aggressive to the body to have little or no side effects. Okay, it is less aggressive, of course. Thank you, Susie. And we have um, Veronica. Yes, nature provides us with many products that help us find diseases without harming our body. Okay. 
Perfect, perfect. I do agree. Okay, thank you, Veronica. Now we're having this conversation. Please take notes. Bien. Le voy a preguntar sobre el ING. Okay, so like seven seconds. No siete segunditos. Take a look at this. Okay, we're having Andrea. So, the, the conference is in taking place. Okay, good. Marlon. Uh, who is attending the conference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. nice. Carmen. They, they are uh, arriving or arriving? Arriving. Mm -hmm. Arriving on Friday. Perfect. Diana. Yo, la que dijo Marlon es who is ah, attending the ah, conference. Vaya, pues, Diana. Ok, uh, Susi y Diego. Todos buscamos esta, pero yo puse who are attending. Who are attending. Vamos a ver si no me mentí, mujer. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Ok, Diego, and then we're having Carito. Ok, got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Good, got it. Mm -hmm. They are arriving, perfect. Okay, Carito, and then Mercy. It is staff uh, attending, is attending. Okay, 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 good. And we're going with Mercy and then uh, Kevin. Where is taking? Where? Taking. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Where is taking? And what about Kevin and then Veronica? Eso lo puedo ver. Where is taking? Y la otra es. Erlita o algo así. Well. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, what about. Uh, Hello? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Attending or waiting or taking? Okay. Good. Um, perfect. Okay, and Christian, what about you? You have one? Yeah. When are the materials arriving? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now um, we have this conversation. Uh, Luis, okay, we have Rita and Luis. Rita, Rita Repulsa. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending uh, the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Muy bien. Uh, attending, ¿verdad? Que quienes eh, van a, a, a asistir, ¿verdad? A la conferencia anual. Ok, this year. ¿Y dónde va a tomar lugar? ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde se va a desarrollar? Bien, dice. Eh, el staff de, eh, este es un equipo informático. Ok. Eso significa IT, equipo informático. And, o personal. The informatica and the conference is taking place the great room mm -hmm. when are the materials arriving cuando va a llegar los materiales got it es como entendido okay ya, ya se la saben esto okay they are arriving on friday morning okay i consider that uh, you know all of these words ya conocen todas estas palabras sure sure okay tell me uh, i just want to know yes alex uh, la palabra arriving Arriving, uh -huh. llegando. Okay. Arrive es llegar. Arriving, llegando. Uh -huh. Okay. O cuando van a llegar los materiales. Okay. When are the materials arriving? Arrive, llegar. Uh -huh. Okay. So I think we all know these words. We're going to practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un poquito. Okay. And then we come back. Y después regresamos. Okay. I need you have to screenshot. Necesito pues, que tengan una captura de pantalla.
Okay. We're having a short practice. Okay, let me see. Let's do it. pasó carito no. el internet me está sacando de las reuniones ajá este tiene por ejemplo tiene problemas está lloviendo está lloviendo muy fuerte lo siento Carmen me dejó como una novia de pueblo Va. sí lo siento ¿Cómo, Carmen? ¿Cómo estuvo esa? ¿Cómo estuvo esa, mambo? Me dejó como novia de pueblo. Como novia de pueblo. ¿A qué se refiere eso? 
No Me había escuchado eso. Sí, pero no, no, no capto mucho. Ajá. La dejé la dejó... vestida y alborotada. Ah, como para casarse. O sea, todo. estaba lista, pero <ríe> no se pudo. Practiquemos ahorita. <ríe> Esta carito mala. No, está lloviendo fuerte. Como novia de pueblo. <ríe> Okay. Okay. Um, we're having some uh, practice here. I will need Rita. It's going to be Diego. If you can help me, Diego, being Rita, and then Carito, you're going to do this. Okay. Okay. Diego. Okay. Luis. Luis. Good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Thank you, Carito. You work here. You work here. You work here. She, you will hear hey. Carmen Rita. I want. Hey Rita, sure. Tell me. Rita here, and then we have it. I want, I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place. Okay, thank you. Diana here, and then we have it. Kevin here. Diana, well. Okay, well, the IT staff is attending. Uh, and the conference is taking place in the great room, Rita. By the way, when are the material arriving? arriving. Do you know okay. arriving? Yes. Do you know? Thank you. Kevin. Got it. Yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Thanks a lot. Now we're going with this. Figure it out. Complete the questions. Use the conversation about to help yourself. So in this case, we're having Mercy, we're having um, Marlon and Andrea. Okay, you have to complete with WH question. Mm -hmm. When are the materials arriving? Arriving. Arriving? When are the materials arriving? Yes, now here we have Marlon and Andrea, I don't know. Uh, mm, creo que sería, who is attending the conference? Yes, yes, yes. Cuando siga su corazón, todo sale bien. Andrea. No se enoje, pues, Andrea. Creo que es, when is the meeting taking place? Yes, excelente. Siga su corazón y nunca vamos a fallar. When do you become an adult? Sí, hablando de corazón, ¿cuándo te conviertes en adulto? Mm. This is like a tricky question. It has to do with different aspects. Um, so I want to know your opinions. So in this case, we're having as the first participation, we're having Kevin. Okay, Kevin. So you tell me, when do you become an adult? Okay, for me, literally when you are a certain number of yourself. It could also be because you know your responsibilities and you act like one. Okay, when you act like one. But you talk about a certain age, right? Hablaste de una edad específica, no? Yes. What? Uh, how old? ¿Qué edad? Uh, like 21 years old. Ah, okay, you consider like 21. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're having Carmen. Let's listen to La Novia del Pueblo. <laughs> uh, uh, at 18 years of age, I started working. Are you started working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you consider that uh, at 18 you became an adult? So in my case. Adult. Okay, in your case, at 18. Okay, that's your point. Go for you. Um, now we're having Mercy and then Christian. Yo, teacher, perdón. Hola. Yo, yes, yo, yo, yo. Okay. Yes. Uh, when a person achieves independence from the family and has responsibilities and obligations to help him. But I understand that the adult is made up on different stages. Etapas? 
stages. 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 Stage, stages. Okay. Salami. When a person achieves, porque tercera persona achieves, Achieve. uh, uh, responsibilities, right? Uh, it has, it is different uh, when you have to pay something, when you have to do something by your own. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mercy. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? Um, mm -hmm. I, I said Christian, right? Okay, Christian. Yes. Uh, by making our own decision or decision, no sé cómo yeah, decisions. Mm -hmm. Decision. Uh, when we become independent from our parents, uh, eso sería my Thank opinion. You. Thank you. Decisions. Okay. And when you get independent or you have your own independent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's listen to Diana and uh, Edgar. Okay, in my opinion, when you start to suffer for money and not for love. <laughs> <laughs> when you start uh, suffering for money, but not for love. Eso se escuchó bien. Thank you, Diana. Okay, now, it's true. <laughs> yes, I know, no, I'm not saying the opposite. I agree with you, okay? So now we all are suffering from money, okay? And uh, who else, who else? Edgar, right? Yes. Uh, uh, from, uh, I think uh, is uh, from the moment we behind to assume responsibilities, because a child does know, not know if they uh, need to be responsibility or not, or not. Okay, a child doesn't know how to be responsible. But talking about uh, be responsibilities, right? To pay bills, para recibo, to do something by your own, talking about uh, education, pay or working, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And the last person by this stage, uh, we're having Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Okay. You become an uh, adult when you assume your own responsibility and uh, act mat mature, no say mature. 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 Not just when you come of age. Okay. So uh, another keyword. Mature, no mature. Right? Okay. Um, thank you. And we're going to continue later. Mm -hmm. And by now we're having a listening. Okay, it's a short speech. Es una, pues, no todo. Un audio. And uh, 35 seconds, 35 seconds, okay? So you pay attention and take notes. Tome nota de lo que pueden escuchar. Safe environment. Tiene problemas para escuchar los medios. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, listen again. Se escucha bien o se, o se escucha la interferencia de la lluvia. And Carmen, Devin. Se Yo lo escucho bien lejos. No sé sí, si es. Ah, bien, se escucha lejos, bien. 
cómo vamos a afectarlo. Entonces, dice. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, Carla, ahora se escuchó igual o un poco mejor? Pues yo, tanto el audio como usted lo escucho bien, okay. bien lejos. Ok, vamos a ver. No sé si es mi internet o. o eh, qué. Vamos a probar. Merci. No, ahorita sí ya, ya se oye más. Ahorita sí ya se le escucha bien. ¿Y anteriormente se escuchaba lejos? Yes. Sí. Yes. Ok. Um, Again. Again. Ok. Vamos a ponerlo. Vaya, en este momento vamos a ver. Diana, ¿sí me escuchas? ¿O me escucho lejos? No, ya se escucha bien. Vaya, posiblemente se internet. Bueno, vamos a probar. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay. Creo que sí, pues se escucha todavía mejor. So, um, let's see what are the words that you got it. For example, Veronica, tell me. Veronica and then Alex. Um, see, environment important weekend setting to know technology, helping plastic bag, adapting new wow. paper, agreeing climate in several ways. Relax, Veronica. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very nice. Very, you identified a lot of words. Good for you. Thanks. Alex and then Susie. Uh, digital technology, natural colleague in plastic bag. Okay, good. Susie and Diego. Incompletely, I think first thing adapting, agree, ways, simply lasting, using next year common digital. Wow, good. Diego, and then we're having um, Carmen. Uh, okay, teacher, I just, I don't remember. I just can say that the she was talking about the safe environment and the importance about to to use eco-friendly i don't know what yes. <laughs> items exactly yes, to preserve the the atmosphere mm -hmm. of course thanks thanks yes that that's the main uh, the main the main message thank you carmen and marlo okay, you're welcome yeah the most of plastic bag mm -hmm. next generation several ways digital technology natural resource prefer more paper thank you marlon and then we go with andrea and then Carlos. Um, um, uh, same on my friends uh, accepting um, and adapting to a simple life using uh, less uh, plastic bags it's all about the save uh, save the environment yes it's about saving environment that's true okay um andrea and carla um save save environ, environ, como es? environment 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 Mm -hmm. Physical, important, healthy life must stop plastic bags next several ways, eco-friendly, simple life, and more papers and digital technologies. Wow, nice. Good. And Carla. 
missiles are important in technology we can we can okay thanks very much i know that some of you have some other words but uh, to take advantage of the time we're going to continue para aprovechar el tiempo i really like and i love to hear that you identify different words están identificando palabras diferentes y son temas there are topics that are different from the ones that we talk uh, commonly okay so safe environment okay a green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life we must stop avoid and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items eco-friendly items so we have also uh, to save the atmosphere we can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting the simple a uh, simple lifestyle promote digital technology will save more paper than are made from natural resources like wood. And this is always, the, the, this last part, it's related to apps or banks. For example, you can do different transla transactions without going to the bank or fulfilling some papers, ¿verdad? Entonces se refiere más que todo, ¿verdad? A reducir, okay? So, and we're going to listen again. So, uh, this is, for you to have a better idea how it is pronounced. Sorry, just give me a second, yeah. Safe environment. A green and clean atmosphere is important to live a peaceful and healthy life. We must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags and prefer eco-friendly items to save the atmosphere. We can easily save our environment for the next generation in several ways by accepting and adopting a simple lifestyle. Promote digital technology will save more papers that are made from natural resources like wood. Okay, ahora vamos a hacer algo diferente. Hay algo que se le llama skimming, que es una técnica de lectura, y el otro que se le llama scanning. Ok. Cuando utilizamos scanning, es lo siguiente. Vamos a ver. Uh, for example, let's see. Um, I'm going to ask to... Claudia, tell me one word. Dime una palabra que consideres que sea una palabra clave. Keyword. Solo una palabra. And then Diana. Okay. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Important to live. Okay. Thank you. Um, son dos palabras, pero muy importantes. Diana, then Mercy. Environment. Environment. Mercy, then Christian. We'll say more paper. Okay, sería save, save. Say more, idea. save. Ah, save, oh, save more paper. Pero, pero save. Okay, and Christian, Kevin. Atmosphere. Okay, atmosphere, yes. Kevin. Natural. Okay, Edgar. Uh, Headly. Ok, thank you. Muy bien. Thank you. Eso se le llama scanning. Scanning es cuando tenemos un texto y pues podemos, we can identify important words, palabras importantes. Y esas palabras nos dan una idea de qué se trata. Ok, we can have like a better idea about what is the topic about. Ahora, skimming son ideas, no son palabras, son ideas. So, um, Diego. Tell me one sentence that you consider important. Una oración que consideres importante que dé un mensaje. Okay, we must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags. Thank you. Until there. Hasta ahí. You're welcome. Yes, we must stop and avoid using poly and plastic bags. Esa es la idea. Lo demás ya es una descripción. It's a description. But that's the main idea. Okay, esa es la primera idea. Okay, and now we go with Susie. Are you there, Susie? Yes, uh, okay. promover digital technology. 
thank you. Promote digital technology. Hasta ahí es la idea. Pero de ahí decimos, we'll say more paper, blah, blah, blah. So uh, you, you have supporting details. Tienes detalles de apoyo a, la, a esa uh, idea principal. Ok. Marlon, your turn. Uh, ok. Um, I think uh, we can easily save our environment from the next generation. Generation. Thank you. Ahí está. Entonces, a eso se le llama skimming. Skimming es cuando ustedes captan la idea de cada párrafo y scanning es palabras, ¿ok? Son técnicas de lectura que nosotros podemos utilizar sin necesidad de leerlo todo, ¿ok? So, that's it. Ok, we're going to continue because we have 19 minutes, 19 minutos, 19 minutes, and we find... Hey, hello, Carmen's pet. What's uh, his name or her name? It's a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl, what? Crispy. Crispy, okay. And uh, Diego's is Shadow, right, Diego? Shadow is yours. Yeah, teacher, that's right. Okay, good. Very nice, very nice. Well, it is good to have pets. Uh, the life is better with pets. La vida mejor con mascotas, okay? Now, we're having this. We did uh, this exercise yesterday. I know that you're going to do it faster. Lo van a hacer más rápido. Okay, come on. Vamos a hacer preguntas con respecto a eso, ¿ok? Diana, you start, and then eh, Diego. Come on. ¿Cómo sería? What do... Ah, Dianita, que tú no, estuviste, la... ayer. Tú no estuviste ayer. No. Ok, no. ok. Te voy a dejar de, después, ¿ok? Ok. Look, Diego, you go. And then okay, Edgar. The number two. Why is the girl laughing? Why is the girl laughing? Ok, now we go with Edgar. Uh... Number four. Uh -huh. uh, how how you talk? talk okay, who, who are you talking to? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Okay, we go with Claudia and then Diana. Okay. Number three. Number three. Where are... The... Es un gato, es un gato. Where is? <laughs> where is sleeping the cat? No, where is the cat sleeping? The cat is sleeping. Okay, thank you. Sleep. Cat sleeping. Okay, thank you. Dianita o ya caíste? ¿Te captaste? Mm, um, sería what are you mm, doing? doing? Yes. Doing the Para... computer. No, what are you doing? Así, what are you ah, doing? What are you, you. What are you doing? Okay, perfect. We go Carmen and Veronica. When, when are they coming? Yes. Veronica and Caro. How are you traveling? Yes. Caro and Alex. Caro, okay. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Falla micrófono. Ajá. And sería, how much, how much beer you drink? Are you drinking? Yes. Are you drinking? Okay, nunca nos pregunten esto. Okay, thank you. Who's next? Who's next? Um, uh, Alex, right? Alex, and then Andrea. The... What are we? Mm -hmm. What? It's a read. No, what am I reading? What am I uh, reading? No. Okay, Andrea. And then finally, we're having Susie. How many cakes is, no, is it eating? Excellent. Creo que se hiciste ayer, ¿verdad? No. No, okay, it's so a see, bird. Okay, bird, bird. Mm -hmm. Where is she staying? Staying, yes, staying. Perfect, good. Okay, so um, we continue. When do you become an adult? Why? And we have 15 minutes and we finish. 15 minutes, ya vamos a terminar. So uh, now we're having Andrea. 
And after Andrea, we're having the participation of Carla. Come on, Andrea. Okay. Well, according to the Constitution of El Salvador, when wow. we turn 18 years. Uh, <laughs> yes, go ahead. But we become adults when we have to work to support ourselves or to contribute economically at home. When we have, in re have responsibilities, for, in for instance, when there are bills to pay or when there are children, children to support. Children, mm -hmm. when you have children. children, of course, it changes the life and the yeah, economy, okay? Some uh, responsibilities. Thank you for uh, your legal advisory. For the assessoría legal, good. And let's see, who's next, who's next? Aquí me la dije, por no andar okay. anotando. Yes, Carla, okay. por no anotar, mira, eso me pasa, okay. And after <laughs> Carla, Claudia. Okay, when they are in natural, uh, 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 no, to make medicine decision and take responsibility. Okay, when they are, mm -hmm, they are able, cuando ya están capaces, si quieren, eh, pueden anotar esta. Able es ser capaz. I am able, you are able to take decision or choices. Take choices, make choices, or able to pay, pay, Bills, okay, okay. Um, uh, Claudia, right? Claudia, and after Claudia, oh, pues Carito, Carito, I'm sorry, Carito, and then we're having Veronica. Okay, in my opinion, you become adult when you are maturing. And now to face life difficult and it depends for parents. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Veronica, and after Veronica, we're having Marlo. When you assume responsibilities and face them regardless of the consequence or blaming other or circumstance for your failures, taking care of yourself and not depending on anyone. Accepting consequences. That is a very, a very part of mature and becoming an adult. Well, there are some adults, suppose adults, but they don't accept consequences, okay? So they blame. When we say blame, significa culpar. Blame to a person. Es blame. A no tener es importante. People they don't uh, accept consequences. They are they are not taking responsibilities. So they blame to other people of their responsibilities. That is really common. Okay, and uh, Marlon, right? Yes. And then, uh... so I think you become an adult uh, when you mature and uh, you know how to value more uh, your things, your money, your parents, your family, uh, everything. And um, it's more than mm, the payments and it's about accepting consequences like Vero said, uh, but it's, it is more more to, to look for a blame. I think we, we have to look for a solution for every problem. And, uh, um, and oh, um, I agree with, with, with my friend, uh, with her, he, he, she has a, a recent uh, argument saying about the constitution of, of El Salvador. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, that's my opinion, teacher. Okay, of course. Mm -hmm. And one part of grow up, grow up, significa crecer. Okay. Hay una canción de los Ramones que se llama I Don't Want to Grow Up. 
¿verdad? Entonces, mm -hmm. significa yes. yo no quiero, ajá, no quiero buena, really good. Yes. So, uh, uh, it is part of the life. You have to grow up, uh, you have to face. Face significa enfrentar. Okay? You have to face uh, your responsibilities and look for a solution. Es parte de la vida. If you don't look a, for a solution, you're going to be stuck. Van a estar estancados. Van a estar atrapados. You're going to be stuck in the same thing. We have to, to face the consequences. Okay, yes. Or, or like Megadeth said, the train of consequences. <laughs> <laughs> a good example. Better said. Bien dicho. Okay, Susie, and then we go with uh, Diego. Okay, I believe is when we mature in our way of thinking and action, when we worry about our finances and things at home. Mm -hmm. When you have like a good administration of your finances and you look for better things uh, to, your, to your home, right? And you, mm -hmm. you give you support to apoy us as well. Thank you, Susie. Good, and we're having um, Diego, and after Diego, we're having Alex. Okay, in my opinion, uh, you become an adult when you are able to earn your own money and you pay your bills by yourself. And it can happen sometimes sooner than you think because you can be 70 years old, but if you depend from another person or relative or even your parents, you are not done yet to become an adult. Besides, you need to get mature to be an adult. And I know some of my friends who became adults at 18 because they learned to work to earn their, their own money, impair their bills. And with all this comes the mature and, and therefore adulthood. That's it. Uh, maybe, well, one uh, perfect example is uh, teenagers, adolescent teenagers, that they start working, they earn their money, and they learn how to uh, have good uh, administration of their finances, and they buy their own things, right? And they, they can have plans, that they can uh, have a different view of the life. And that's it. Exactly. It can, it, it can happen point. sooner than you think, of course. Yes. Well, well point. Uh, thank you, Diego. Nice. You're welcome. Um, Alex, and we are about to finish because we have seven minutes. Okay, Alex. I think that when we are 18 years old, mm -hmm. you think better we see life from another point our view okay and you have another point of view yes and that, that is very common when you uh, become 18 and uh, yes uh, like you are going to have your id but I to do it and all those things but uh, it is important uh, to face the life and go you're going to have good good experiences well you're going to face good and bad situations and that's part of the experience okay so uh we're about to finish my friends we have six minutes and we're going to do this exercise oh i'm sorry this was a... okay we have this uh, para ir terminando. we have present simple present and present continuous tenemos presente simple y presente continuous Tenemos que saber que el presente simple, present, simple present, it's for uh, common activities, routines, and habits. Okay? Rutinas, hábitos, o cosas que pasan a menudo. But present continuous is something that is happening right now. So you decide if uh, it is a simple present or present continuous. Okay? So uh, for in this case, we're going to start with Veronica. Okay? And after Veronica, we're having Mark. Okay. Look, that lady not wear her uniform. Okay, look, that lady. Mira esa, esa señorita, esa chica. Ajá. Is wear no. Ajá. Her uniform. Okay. 
sería where mm -hmm. ok, look that lady mm -hmm. is wear her uniform ok, is ok, it is not well, it's not wearing her uniform it's, ok, porque está pasando en este momento porque dice, mira uh, ella. Wearing. Mm -hmm. ok She's not wearing her uniform, okay? Um, thank you. We go with Marlon and then Andrea. Number two. Uh -huh. Our cat seldom lies on the sofa. Okay, good. Our cat seldom, porque seldom is a frequency adverb. Uh -huh. Seldom lies. Bien, lie, ya les había dicho que significa mentira, pero también significa recostarse, como acostarse. So, pets uh, commonly lie. The dogs or the cat, they lie on the sofa, on the carpet, or what? Different parts at home. Okay, good. And we go with Andrea, right? And okay. after Andrea, we're having Diana. Number nine. Nine. I'm having a cup of tea now. Okay. Yes, yes. Now I'm having. Ahorita. Now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Diana. And then Mercy. Okay, number four. I like supermarket, but my father doesn't. Perfect. Yes, I like. No, I am liking. Okay, I like. Yes. Okay, who's next? Number six. Number six. We are not taking the bus to school. Okay, we are not taking the bus to school. Okay. O podemos decir, we don't take the bus to school, porque es algo común, no, no tomamos el bus. Okay, we don't take the bus to school. Thank you, okay, and we go with Diego, and then we're having Christian. Okay, the number five. Yep. What is the man doing in our garden? Perfect, what is the man doing? I think maybe his pet is doing different things. Thanks, Diego. Get, eh? get in the lake. Yes, like Marlon's <laughs> Marlon's neighbors. Okay. And what about Carito and Kevin? Uh -huh. Okay, I, Carito is having problems. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, ready? Lista? Me escucha. Yes. Okay. Uh, number eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar tiempo. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, Kevin. Okay, number seven. Mm -hmm. Where are you coming from? Yeah, where are you coming from? Mm -hmm. Oh, where do you come from? Okay. Oh, but where are you coming from? Creo que ambos. Sí, le faltó quizás un, un adverbio acá. Right now, now. Mm -hmm. Se puede. And to finish, uh, we have three. Antes, vamos con Edgar. Edgar, could you? Okay. Uh, are they uh, texting? Texting. Yes, perfect. Are they texting at the moment? Están texting en ese momento. Okay, Carito, ready? And we're going to check the attendance list. Mm -hmm. No, no entiendo cómo ponerle la primera. Okay, so we're having, uh, we're having, we're going to receive help from Carmen, right? Carmen, could you number eight? Uh... Tenemos un adverbio, are, always, always. Are your girlfriend always wearing green t-shirt? Vaya, como tenemos un adverbio, eso quiere decir que es algo frecuente. No sería... Why? Sería, sería does. Does your girlfriend always wear green t-shirts? Okay. Does your... Girlfriend always, always. Mm -hmm. wearing. Where? Ah, uh, where? Where green t-shirts. Vamos a hacer esta mañana porque esa sí, <laughs> esa sí estaba bien tricky. Okay, check the attendance list and we finish. Okay, Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. I'm here. Good, Carmen. Present. Good, Claudia. Present. Carito, thank you. Present. Christian. 
present. Good. Alex. Present. And Diana, thank you. Present. Good. Uh, Diego. Present. Perfect. Edgar. Present. Good. Carla. Present. Good. Kevin. Present. Marlo. Thank you. Present. Susie. Present. Veronica. Okay, my friends, have rest. Okay. Present. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Um, it was supposed uh, to be here one student, unfortunately, he was not able to be here. So I'm having, uh, well, we're having a short review, a brief review about today's class. So simple present for temporary situations is uh, the topic, the content for uh, this class. We studied uh, the grammar structure of simple present and present continuous uh, by adding ing uh, in different forms, affirmative, negative, and specifically in questions. So we had a review of how to create um, closed questions. And here we have um, the grammar point that it is how to use present continuous WH questions. So the theory says WH questions ask for specific information the structure is WH word plus verb e plus subject plus verb ing plus complement and plus the question mark. We have different words in which we can use 
For example, what, when, where, why, which, who, how. We have examples. For example, number one. Why is he meeting the new people today? And the, the answer should start with because. Number two. When is the new office launching? Uh, the answer is, it is launching on, and there can be specify the date. Number three, where is your boss having the annual meeting? Okay. And that's it. We have also uh, exercise. That is fill the blanks using the words in parentheses. Okay. What company are you working for? That's uh, the example. And how to create um, present continuous questions. Number two. How is he dividing the groups? Number three. When is she handing the checks? Four. Which factory is your bus visiting this month? And number five, why is the new secretary working on the next Saturday? To continue, we have this activity in which uh, it is said, think of some future events of your classmates. Write five questions to ask your classmates about those events. We have take notes of their answers. So students um, made five questions using uh, the previous examples with WH word. So they wrote those questions for them to be asked to their classmates. It was so they had to report that to the whole class after working in breakout rooms. We have number two. Listen to your teacher read conversation, then practice with a partner. We have Rita and Luis. We have Luis. Luis. Good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Luis, hey Rita, sure, tell me. Rita, I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is taking place. Luis, well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Rita, got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. We have here figured it, figured it out. Complete the questions and use the conversation about to help yourself. As you can see, there are three questions in which uh, you can find them in the conversation. So we have to add the WH question or the WH word. So, number one, when are the materials arriving? Number two, who is attending the conference? And number three, where is the meeting taking place? 